welcome to day 23 of 23 Days with God. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you didn't just skip to the end. You've been tracking with us each of these days and you've been growing in your understanding of who God is. And let me just say, I'm so thankful and grateful for the wisdom uh, of our staff. They've done a great job. I know I've grown and learned a great deal. Hopefully you have as well. I also hope that you've grown in your desire or you have a greater hunger to know more of God. That's part of what this is about, a growing understanding of who God is and a hunger in us to know him more. You know, I remember uh, years ago reading a story about C.S. Lewis. Lewis and J.R. Tolkien were good friends in Oxford. Tolkien was sitting on a bench outside of Lewis's uh, rooms and a young man who was being tutored by Lewis was walking into his appointment with Lewis. And on the way out, uh, this young man passed by Tolkien and Tolkien asked him, what did you think of your appointment with Professor Lewis? And the young man said, oh, he's very interesting. And Tolkien said, interesting. My son, you'll never get to the bottom of him. That's an interesting phrase, isn't it? You'll never get to the bottom of him. If that's true, and I believe it is about a human being, how much more true of an infinite God? We'll never get to the bottom of him. But that doesn't mean we can't have a growing understanding of who he is and God longs to give us more of himself. In his book, The Knowledge of the Holy, on which these 23 days have been loosely based, the last chapter, chapter 23, is called The Open Secret. And Tozer means by that that God himself is the open secret. Sometimes we think of God as secretive or mysterious or aloof, but he's not. He's open. He wants to give us more of who, an understanding of who he is. And Tozer says, knowledge of God, growing in your understanding of God, is at once the easiest and the most difficult thing in the world. Easy because it's knowledge that we don't have to acquire or attain by measuring up by sheer force of effort. It's knowledge that is given to us, it's revealed. But it's difficult because we must continually put ourselves in the condition to receive it, to be ready to receive what God wants to give us. And he lays out six conditions. So I thought a great way for us to wrap up our, our 23 days together is to walk through briefly those six conditions. First condition for growing in your understanding of God is turn from your sin. This might sound obvious. The Bible calls this repentance. But, to, but Tozer means you cannot grow in your knowledge of God if you're actively engaged in sinful behavior. So turning away from sin and temptation is by definition turning toward God and it puts us in a condition to receive more knowledge of God. So turning from our sin is the first condition. Second, complete surrender. A total surrender of, of our mind, uh, body, soul to God. This is relational knowledge we're talking about, and so it requires a full surrender of who we are. Romans chapter 12 says we are to offer ourselves as living sacrifices. This is pleasing to God, and chapter 12 verse two says, that then we'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. We'll grow in our knowledge of who he is and what he's like and what he wants when we surrender to him. So stop holding back in certain areas, full surrender. So turn from sin, complete surrender. Three, open yourself to the work of the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 16, verse 13, Jesus says, when the Spirit comes, he will guide you into all truth. Part of the Spirit's job is to be our teacher to instruct us, to lead us into the knowledge of God. And I think too many of us are resistant to the Spirit's work. So third condition, open myself to the work of the Spirit who wants to guide me into all truth and knowledge of who God is. Number four, reject the false value systems of the world. Our culture, secular culture in the world, has a very different definition of what truth even is and how it's known. We live in a culture of relativism. Your truth is not my truth, and I shouldn't push my truth on you. Scripture tells us there is one objective, ultimate source, transcendent of truth, above all. So we need to reject the systems of the world if we're going to receive what God wants to give us. And that's, we continually have to deconstruct sort of the false narratives out there in our culture. Fifth, practice the art of loving meditation on the character of God. I like the, the way he, that he says, practice the art of. It takes work. We have to stay at it. Learn to become good and enjoy thinking about God. And that takes time. Spending time filling our minds with scripture, taking an aspect of God's character and thinking about it for an entire day, a week, a month, meditating on it, journaling about it, 
Let that go deep into who we are. 23 days is a good start, but it's not, it's just a start. As a matter of fact, you can expect in the next several days a follow-up email uh, to those of you who have subscribed, giving you some suggested resources for how you can take the next step in this journey that you've begun of growing in your understanding of who God is. And sixth, as you grow, learn to show and share the knowledge that God is revealing to you. The knowledge of God that he wants to give us of who he is, his majesty, his beauty, his glory, his omniscience, his love, his mercy, all those things, it's not private knowledge that we keep to ourselves. It's meant to be shown and shared, expressed and shared in our service to others, in our love of neighbor, in our evangelistic witness as well. So those are very helpful things to me, are those conditions. Turn away from sin if we're going to grow in our knowledge of God. Complete surrender to Him. Open to the work of the Spirit. Reject the false narratives in our culture. Practice the art of loving meditation on God and learn to show and share that which God has shown and shared with us. Once again, I hope this has been beneficial, fruitful, and helped you grow in your knowledge of who God is, how much He loves you, and what He wants with your life. We, we pray for you regularly and desire for all of us to continue to grow. And as I said, we're going to follow up with you and give you some suggestions on how you can do that. Thanks for being part of this journey with us in 23 Days with God.